Hello everyone and welcome back to the J-Bank channel. In this video, I wanna do a little review of these boat erasers that I got from a viewer of the channel. Hello everyone, my name is Josh and welcome back to the J-Bank channel. Now, if you're a new uh, viewer of the channel, and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little notification bell. That way, whenever I put up a new random video like this one, you'll get notified and you can come check it out. If you are a subscriber, thanks for coming back. I know I've been gone a while and I've been missing all of you out there. It's just, uh, just haven't made time to put videos out and I wanna get better every year and I'm kinda feeling motivated this year going into 2022, so hopefully I can keep that fire rolling. This video is a little special video. I had a viewer, uh, like I mentioned previously, contact me about doing a review of a couple pieces of boat cleaning um, supplies. And anyway, it all worked out. I got these boat erasers in the mail and I told him I would do it an honest review. So, hey, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you me using these on my boat. So, here we go. All right, everyone, so this video, I'm gonna review the Better Boat Boat Erasers. Um, I got contacted by the Better Boat Company and asked if I would review some products. Um, they told me to pick some products and I picked the hole cleaner and boat erasers, but I never got the hole cleaner. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just demonstrate these boat erasers. Now, the transom here is the dirtiest part of the boat. Um, and the boat erasers are meant to be a product that when you get back from the lake, if you don't feel like washing the entire boat with soap and water, you can just use these erasers to do a quick, clean job. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I thought, well, let's just test how tough these things are and try to clean the transom area. The transom area is notorious for getting this black film from the motor and the water um, just built up on it. So all you have to do is just wet the area you're gonna be working with, take the eraser sponge and just start wiping away the grime. So again, here it's mostly elbow grease is what you really need because um, again, I'm not doing any kind of cleaning other than the eraser just to see how good it can do. And the eraser itself, you could see there was a lot of, a lot of grime on the sponge here. So I just kept at it. Um, it does a pretty good job. Again, if you were to use some type of hole cleaner to break this up first and the boat was cleaner to start with, I'm sure it would do exactly what it's supposed to do, which is just take away the grime. But again, I'm testing 100% uh, throttle here just to see what it'll do. So just speaking about being a boat owner and how we use the boat, um, these old two-stroke motors, they really have a lot of um, grime around the motor area here. Um, it seems like every time I go to the lake, and I don't even care if I barely use the motor, the lake itself gets a lot of grime on the, on the hull of the boat. Um, the white gel coat really shows just how, you know, oily the water or whatever else you want to call it is. So it's not all specifically my motor that's causing it. I can just go float the boat around a little bit and the boat will come out dirty and dingy. So that's one of the things that um, I was kind of looking forward to with this product was just to see, okay, well, most of my boat washing doesn't happen every time I get back from the lake. Um, I put the boat back on the trailer, we haul it up out of the water and we go home. So this product, I was really hoping um, before I started testing here, to be able to just keep some of these erasers in the boat, so to speak. So when you get up on the shore, um, you know, you could just take an eraser, wipe it down real quick before you go home. And when you get to where you're gonna store your boat, you're done. Um, because I don't wash my boat every single uh, return trip. Um, it seems like every other time I'm, I'm washing the boat. So again, these erasers, in my mind, are meant for just a quick clean. Um, but it would be nice to have something that will really eat through all of this build up here. Um, and that's gonna be more of a whole cleaning product. And I'm, I don't have that to demonstrate today. 
But as you can see, each little area that I go to, I've been using this one sponge and it just keeps cutting through the grime. And it's, it's doing a pretty good job. I mean, I definitely had a dirty canvas to start with here. But yeah, um, if you're a boat owner too, and you're just looking for something that would help you get the initial grime off the boat, um, I'm thinking this is going to be a good candidate. And I'm also curious, what do you guys use um, to clean your boats with? Throw it down in the comments. I mean, do you come up with your own mixtures of stuff? Um, do you have just regular old car soap? Uh, shoot down in the comments what you're using. Um, I personally just have some regular old boat wash that I got off of a big box store's shelf. I have also been known to use some of my car wash off of the uh, supply in my garage with my, you know, I'm doing a truck or something in my driveway, I'll turn around and I'll, I'll keep the suds open and uh, wash the boat while I'm at it. So I'm no stranger to having a variety of things to try to clean the boat. So that's just how I do things and I'm always open to hear what people think works best. But in, in the uh, in the overall life of my boat here, I mean, I do keep it pretty clean. This was, we had just got home. I had these erasers sitting here. I thought, all right, no better time than the present to test these things out and see what they'll do. And again, that's one sponge. So it really, uh, it really hung in there and did all the areas that I wanted to. There's one more area you're about to see, and that is the uh, side of the boat. Um, again, I'm abusing this thing. I'm even wiping down the motor here. Um, but I'll show you the hole on the side now and kind of some of the other uh, lines that I come back from the lake with. So I don't know how well this shows up on camera here, um, but you kind of see this line going from the top left to the bottom right hand corner of the screen on the white. There's a little dingy line right there, um, and that's from how the boat sits in the water while we're out in the lake. And since I've been taking the boat to the water, this has been one of the most common areas to always get dingy and dirty. And again, same eraser that I've used on the, all the other sides I mean takes that right off so that's a win for me um, I would probably continue using this product keeping it stored in the boat just because this is real world application for me is I don't wash the boat every single time um, from when we get back from a lake trip and just having something to quickly wipe down the boat and take off some of those dingy areas so that they're not building up over time um, this product hits that box. Um, again, I think for perfect application, you need to wash the boat with a whole cleaning product, and I do not have that to demonstrate. So this was just a demonstration strictly of the boat erasers, and I believe we used them exactly what they were intended for, except the extreme of the transom area being way, way, way dirtier than probably intended use, but it still did a pretty good job. It just really doesn't get down in deep, clean uh, areas. It is great for the surface grime, which is what you just saw on the hole here. So overall, I would give this product a pass. I think it does great. Um, if you're interested, you can go to thebetterboat.com and you can pick up yourself a package of them. Um, again, I was not paid to do this video, but I did get this product in the mail to give it a try, and this is my honest review. So, anybody else out there has used them, want to comment in the video, feel free to uh, tell what your experience is. All right, that's going to do it for this video. So, if you're interested in the product that I reviewed, uh, there'll be a link to the site that sells the uh, boat erasers, and you can go check those out. I don't get any kind of kickback or affiliate uh, from this. I'm just doing then my solid by reviewing the product and showing it for all of y'all. If you'd like to go purchase yourself, see if it works good on your boat, you're more than welcome to. I think it did all right on mine. I hope that showed up in the video pretty clear. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. So if you have any comments or if you have any questions, um, you just want to give me a thumbs up, please do all that now before you leave. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing by hitting that button and the notification bell so that I can see you next time.